Hey guys, um, so for months I've been telling you I would show you how I style my hair now that I chopped, a, I think it was about 13 inches off. Um, and so I'm going to curl it today. It's a little bit different than what I used to do when it was longer, but not by much. I just thought I would show you anyway. Um, so I still use pretty much the same products. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Fresh Cut Split End Mender. Um, I always put this in my ends before I put any heat on it, whether it's straightening or curling, just to give it some extra protection. Um, so I'm using my hot tools, uh, this is the, what's that called when it goes down, you know what I mean. Because my hair is so thick, I still have to split it into sections, even though it's short. So I do like the bottom, middle, and then top. It's actually like four, there's like two middle sections. But, um, I try not to do it uniform anymore, I feel like with the uniform curls, like doing one side all the same way and then the other side the same way uh, I feel like it just gets a little bit um, funky with this length and so um, every other section I do a different way like every section I do a different does that make sense so I'll curl like away the gorgeous thing about it being short is that it doesn't take nearly as long as when it was long um, so I do away from the hair just for a couple of seconds and then I'll do away from my face not away from the hair oh well, yeah I guess it could be away from the hair towards my hair face just for a couple of seconds I feel like the messier with the short hair almost like the better it just looks a little bit more voluminous and full um because uh, even though I have a ton of hair, it's so heavy that it like lays flat to my head. Like I always have like almost like helmet hair. I constantly have to like zhuzh it. Um, and so there's a product at the end that I use that has been helping me with that a little bit. Um, and I don't worry about getting like every single section underneath because underneath is actually where I have quite a bit of curl. Almost like ringlets. It's a shame it wouldn't be on top. Um, so same thing on each side. I just do... A different way each section and just mix it up try and get to the back so again it's not laying straight flat to my head I mean I'm probably gonna get it by the time this goes up but um, I did do a tutorial on this look I don't know if it which is going up quick first um, I keep finding myself stuck in my old ways of like I just put up a video, you know, two days ago. I have to wait because I really don't want anyone to get sick of me. <laughs> um, but I think that would happen regardless of how many times I upload. I don't know. Let me know. Like, would you guys mind seeing a video back to back like two days in a row? Okay. Um, and then, like I said, there's like two middle sections and I do it the same exact way. So I'll just speed that up. come up with gradient teardrop still don't know uh, I got down to the lower part of the barrel um, on the top layer that I just did it's still middle but um, just because I want the curls to be a little bit tighter that way they last a little bit longer and um, they're a little bit more tight so uh, now for the top layer I start at the back and work my way forward. I just kind of grab little sections in the back and I try and make these ones all go um, away from my head. That way it just lays a little bit better. Uh, I have some super funky calyx in the back. 
um, so it kind of tries to go everywhere anyway and so I feel like the heat of the barrel gets my hair a little bit more uniform on like the top part like the roots uh, to lay where my it doesn't look like I took an end nap do you know what I mean um, so I just start with little sections and to make it not look so uniform I switch the way I hold it which makes the curl look a little bit different but again I still want them all going away from my hair my scalp because I want it to lay flat not flat but correct I want it to lay correct so this will be the last section that I take to the back and then I split my hair down the middle just because that's how my hair naturally falls anyway um, my part is like pretty dominant <laughs> uh, And again, I'm trying to stay towards the bottom of the barrel just so my curls last a little bit longer. My hair is so heavy that it falls pretty quick. Um, and some people like that look, and I tried to do that look on myself of like the loose waves, but it just ends up looking like I didn't do anything to my hair. So um, curls just look better on me personally. And I'm still alternating the way I do it on these sections just so again, it doesn't um, come to one uniform curl. I feel like uh, that's a, also a separate look of when I do it all the same way. It kind of melts into one and just makes my hair look a little bit, I don't know, like wavy I guess instead of actually curled. So I'm gonna let these cool off a little bit and then I will show you what I do. Okay, so I let them cool off a little bit and what I'm gonna do is just run my fingers through it a little bit so it doesn't look as ringlety. I want it to look very like voluminous, like somewhat of a wave. And this is what I was talking about. Like my it falls out so quickly that it turns into a wave. If I tried to just like wave my hair, um, it would end up looking ugly <laughs> um that's why you never see me like do the curl and then like stretch it out while it's still hot there's like plenty of people that that looks really cute on i don't think i'm one of them personally this ends up kind of turning into that but i just love because it's like so layered it looks super sassy and bunny just went through my head sassy 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 uh, so it see how it like gives me instant body and it just looks really cute. I, I like this a lot um, Especially for like I feel so fall right now. I can't even describe it to you So this is the BB thickening spray uh, the dry spun finish it creates instant fullness and holds airy texture So I do this at my roots and it kind of like gets on the rest of my hair and it holds it But it's not hairspray. I don't know how to describe this stuff other than magic and expensive. <laughs> Those are the two best. So let me show you the back of it. So literally when I was cutting, decided to cut my hair off, this is what I had in mind. Just like a little bit of layers, not anything too crazy. I don't like a ton of layer because then it just looks like stairs, but just this messy, amazing, curly, voluminous hair. Like this is exactly what I had in mind when I was like, I'm going to cut my hair off. I wanted it to look like this all the time. So um, this is my favorite hairstyle. Now that my hair is short, it's been short for a couple months, but you know what I mean. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other requests, for videos of something that you're interested in, let me know and I will attempt to show you how to do something. I love you guys so much. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Coco. You are watching the Coco channel. Please subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye! Or should I say bye!